Sleaze presented by McDonald's. The best part about working at McDonald's is the people. Barnes, it pains me to deliver this news because you know how much I love Dave Grohl. But there is some shocking news coming out that Dave, a Dave Grohl family friend is revealing Ooh. that Dave's wife knew the mistress. Now, this is a friend. What kind of friend spills the deets? Wait, knew ahead of time? Has known the mistress. But not knew that she didn't know. Didn't know they were sleeping oh, okay. together. So, they talk to Demois. And Demois knows all. Ugh, quote. I have known, and this is the anonymous friend, okay? I have known the Grohl family for 18 years, and despite what some people are saying, this has come as a huge shock to Jordan, his wife, and their daughters, to say we are all upset and disappointment. Disappointed is an understatement. Now, they are saying, did they know about the mistress? Did they know she was pregnant? Well, guess what? Dave is currently not living at home. Well, of course not. There's no way you can stay. He is living in a home that Jordan recently renovated for her business. So she's booted him out of the house, right? Now, what about the mistress? This is someone that was, quote unquote, well known to both Dave and Jordan since 2017. That's terrible. There are names out there. I don't know what is true and what isn't. Well, there was some fake news that came out. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying, was this a family friend? Was it a nanny? And this person also said, not for excuses, Dave has been struggling with some other issues since his mother and best friend bandmate died last year. No, you can't use that. No. And are you ready for this one? The baby was born a few weeks ago. Dave was not present for the birth, but has been to see his daughter multiple times. Man, I don't know. This, I don't think a nanny, their youngest is 10. Yeah. So I'm just saying, and then I have some other explosive news in the next sleaze. Whoa, Leslie's exploding twice today. Yes. Okay. Literally, John Bon Jovi helped talk a woman off a pedestrian bridge here in Nashville. He was shooting a a music video for the song The People House on the bridge. It has remained open. There's security cam video posted by police. She is seen on the ledge of the bridge with her arms wrapped around the railing. He was there with his production assistant. He walked over to the ledge and eventually, I guess he talked her off the ledge. She turned toward them and then he helped her get back over the railing. I have it. I have it. So check this out. A friend of mine is a high ranking police officer in Nashville. And what they didn't release from that video is the audio. Now, this audio that was taken from the security camera is the moment you saw where he picks her up. And he, they both kind of, the, he and his assistant or whoever that was, they kind of pick her up and hoist her over the rail. And I have the seconds leading up to that, to her allowing it. Check this out. This is unbelievable. Take my hands, we'll make it, I swear. It's unreal that they were able to capture that. Kudos to the Nashville police. That's pretty crazy. I'm glad she's safe. You know, John Bon Jovi and his wife, Dorothea, they're founders of this JBJ Soul Foundation helping people in times of crisis so they've been trained for things just like this that was an what an amazing thing for him you know to be in that moment and for her probably to look over and go oh wow that's john bon jovi okay can you believe it yeah the police department here just giving him all sorts of kudos and he and he deserves them can i say that this next audio you are about to hear this is how I believe you deal with protesters. Oh, this is a master class in it. This is at the Toronto Film Festival. Pharrell, Pharrell Williams, talking to a protester who is from PETA. She comes up and is holding a sign up. Yes. And it's hard to understand her until the very end of the clip. And it's like, stop using animals in fashion or something. or Stop stop supporting killing animals for fashion because he's the creative director for Louis Vuitton. But while he is perfect in his response... She needs to work on getting the words out. If you're going to protest, don't make people strain to understand what you're saying. Here's how the whole thing went down. You're right. 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 Yes, I have. I have. Pharrell, stop torturing animals! God 
bless you. For real, stop torturing God bless you. animals. Everybody say it. God bless you. For real, stop torturing okay. animals. For real, stop torturing animals. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Her best one was at the end. I could actually understand it. God bless you. He even leaned down. Man, he handled that so well. Have you seen the new trailer for the new Pamela Anderson movie? The Last Showgirl. I haven't. It was at the Toronto Film Festival. She says it's the role that she's been preparing for her entire life. Well, I think I've been getting ready my whole life for this role. <laughs> and, you know, I was also just ready to do something... I really, the, this when I read the script, it's the first time I ever read a good script, first of all. <laughs> I never had a script given to me that was coherent. <laughs> uh, so I was like, I'm the only one who can do this. I've never felt that strongly about something, so, and you were so great to want me in the role, so after that I thought, you know what, I have nothing to lose. I'm just gonna do it. Just be it. Yeah, The Last Showgirl, it's about a, a veteran Las Vegas dancer reeling from the news that her career has hit its expiration date. Also starring Jamie Lee Curtis. Barnes, I don't know if you've seen this story and what you think, but Shannon Sharp. Oh yeah, I've seen it. Hall of Famer was hacked or he accidentally went live while being intimate. I mean, this was live on Instagram. I don't believe he was hacked for one second. Me either. Me either. He says that the phone was sitting on a flat surface, but the audio really paints a picture of what was happening. It paints so much of a picture that we can only play about, uh, and this is suggestive audiences only. Uh, We suggest that if your audience is not uh, going to handle this well, they might want to turn their ear for a second. But this is real. And this is less than five seconds just to prove to you that it's real. You tell me if they're faking it. There you go, baby. There you go, baby. Everything from the acoustics in the room to the phone being flat, the whole thing, bro just accidentally hit record or start. As most people do, they're like, oh, my phone was hacked. What? That went live. Hackers don't go live on Instagram. Busted. With, with voices that sound like you having sex. He's like, my team and I are working vigorously to figure this out. Well, he's working vigorously, but not to figure it out. (laughs) It sounds to me like he figured it out. (laughs) I think. That's your celebrity sleaze.